Hello everyone, it's been a long time since I've done a figure review. I'd be a little bit out of practice. So yesterday I went to Target and I found one of these uh, Roblox uh, figures. And it's the first time I, I got one. Uh, got this one called Avon, the Silver Warrior. Essentially she is um, a cyborg. So apparently something happened in her life and she wakes up one day and she's a cyborg. And uh, I got the figure because it, it, it looked different. I was looking at some, some Halo figures at the time. And uh, these looked a little bit different. They uh, have a, an anime, um, very Japanese style to them and kind of stood out. And uh, so I wanted to give a little review about them, mostly because I was curious about it and I never got one of these figures before. And I was thinking, well, maybe other people might be curious also and they don't have any. So, um, it's a very simple figure. It's not a very bad figure. It's very limiting. Um, it has decent articulation on the, the upper torso area. But where it begins to get uh, limiting, I, I want to say failing, but it's not really failing because it's not extremely bad, in my opinion, uh, but it is limiting from the legs down. So the, the waist part here is, um, is the area where it begins to get different. So let me start. The top, the head is ball and socket. You have, you know, decent articulation there. You have um, the shoulder has these uh, shoulder guards. It's a soft plastic, same type of plastic as the hat. And you do have some uh, hindrance on the articulation going up. It's a pivot and swivel. And uh, so you can pivot up and you can swivel. The elbows are uh, also a pivot and swivel. It is, the elbows is, is typical uh, articulation for this scale. The hands is just a swivel. They don't have any pivot. They just rotate. The waist part just swivels. You could do 360 degrees. Well, maybe not. Yeah, you can. You could do 360. Now, the upper legs is where it th things be get, begin to get a little bit uh, limiting here. Because they only um, move forward like this up to about that angle. Move them back about that angle, but that's about it. They don't they don't go to the sides or anything like that. So it's almost like one of those old style five points of articulation, where the the upper legs they only do a, a scissor type thing. Um, the knees are. Uh, single point articulation there so they bend about that much and the feet they only swivel there's no pivot to them at all so the plastic all around seems to be a, a flexible type plastic I'm not quite sure about the torso part the middle Pressing with fingernails, it does seem to have a little bit of of uh, resistance in terms of pressing the fingernails in. It doesn't feel hard like in, like ABS plastic, so it's probably something different. The hat is a soft, uh, flexible plastic. It's glued onto the head. The hands are a soft, flexible plastic. 
the the, the part for attaching uh, the sword that it comes with is also a soft, uh, flexible piece, and the feet are also. The the legs does have um, is probably made of the same material as the feet and the hat. There's a, a cape part in the back. It pulls right out. It's not a standard port for attaching uh, a backpack. It comes with two props, a scythe, kind of a techno looking thing, and a sword. And the sword is kind of thick. There is details along the handle, but other than that, everything is painted in a silver color. The, the plastic seems to be kind of like a lavender color. The, the eyes tend to be a little bit on the, the darker side with pinpoint, I think, in silver. I don't think it's in white for the pupils. And that's about it. Uh, compared, to, it has a... Um, ports for a, for a stand but it's, it's larger than a regular modern stand like something from marauders or boss fight studio comparing it to a marauder figure you can see it the size is about like that the ports for attaching the stand you can see it's different And, uh, but other than that, it's not a bad looking figure. It's, um, would be okay for a background, uh, figure if you're doing a diorama, especially, uh, a fantasy diorama. And, um, it somewhat reminds me of the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. It's supposed to be a cyborg, but to me, it looks more like some sort of android rather than a, a cyborg uh, so it has some custom potential especially painting potential but other than that it's not really a, a figure for uh, in front of the camera or something like that it's mostly because of the, the limitation in the articulation you can't move the legs out like that you really can't make uh, an action pose it does hold weapons and gear nicely they don't slip out they don't fall out let me put this one sword into the little c clip so it has a very anime uh style to it so I got this figure because it kind of stood out, it was different, and uh, so I wanted to see what they were all about. So there was one other uh, Roblox figure there, and so I may get that one next time just to, to kind of compare the two. Other than that, um, a simple figure something different, something kind of anime-ish, and, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. So, if you like this video, please help the, the channel grow. Please like and subscribe, and spread the word. Thank you.